happy to welcome you here to the New York Aquarium. There's a lot of beautiful marine animals here, and they're, some are beautiful, some are slow, some are athletic, they're all amazing. And what better way to share with you our appreciation for these wondrous animals than to show you them up close and personal. In that vein, we'd like to introduce you one of our star California sea lions. How about a big warm welcome for our California sea lion, Duke, and his trainer, Gunner. Now Duke here is only about five years old, but he already weighs over 300 pounds. Fully grown, this little guy will weigh over 800 pounds, but don't let his little size fool you. Duke here is a real athlete, and like all sea lions, he's a superb swimmer. Now even the fastest human swimmers can only reach of about five miles an hour in the water, but sea lions have been clocked at over 15 miles an hour, and they don't even need goggles. We shouldn't be too hard on ourselves. Sea lions have those web flippers that they use to move so quickly through the water. But humans, well, we need to use our arms and our legs. So it can be kind of awkward. Hey, Duke, stop making fun of us. That's not nice, because humans, well, we're good on land. Human sprinters can reach speeds up to 30 miles an hour in short bursts. And while sea lions flippers help them move so quickly through the water, on land, well, they tend to slow them down a bit. But that's pretty good for four flippers, don't you think? I think Duke agrees. Now they have some other amazing features. They have really strong front flippers, so much so they can lift their entire body weight on them. sea lions like Duke are also very limber as well. Now one last amazing thing they can do is jump out of the water. Humans can only jump about eight feet in the high jump, but sea lions like Duke, well, let's just find out. Looks like he's ready. Oh, excuse me. Gotta get his pre-jump massage. I think he's ready, Gunner, don't you think? younger animals here in the aqua theater, and in just a minute, you're going to meet one of our older males. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Lior, and it will be my pleasure today to introduce you to some of our animals and their trainers. Marine mammals are part of a complex web of life. Today we're going to be talking about this web, as well as how you and I fit into it. The Wildlife Conservation Society, which owns the New York Aquarium, has been working for over a hundred years to help protect wild animals and the wild places in which they live. Here in New York, we do that through our four zoos and, of course, right here at the New York Aquarium. But the WCS also has field programs set up all around the world to help protect wild animals and the world we share. So please welcome our own wild animal, our California sea lion, Osborne, and his trainer, Nick. Now, Osborne here was born in an aquarium, and his wild relatives live up and down our Pacific coast. Sea lions are very social animals and live in large groups called rookeries. And as Oz can tell you, rookeries are very noisy places. <laughs> Males like Osborne will use that vocalization to announce and defend their territory, while females will use it to identify their pups along the crowded beach. The female will vocalize and the pup will return the call. But sea lions have another way to identify another. They use a behavior called a breath exchange, which looks a lot like a sea lion kiss. Now, Osborne here belongs to a larger group of animals called the pinnipeds, which includes the walruses, true seals, and ear seals. Now, I know you're all really smart, so everyone here knows what a walrus looks like, but just in case you don't, we should talk about the differences between true seals and ear seals. All you have to do is look on the side of the animal's head. If you see an ear flap, you're looking at, that's right, an eared seal, just like our California sea lions. 
Ear seals also have very long, strong, and flexible front flippers, which they use to pull themselves through the water, kind of like we use our arms when we go swimming. They can rotate those hind flippers underneath their body and walk on all fours. Now this feature makes them extremely mobile on land, which is a great adaptation. Hey! You two love to dance, but we should talk about true seals for a second. True seals, well, they don't have flippers that rotate. So when they need to move on land, they have to crawl, and in doing so, look much more like a caterpillar, or an inchworm. Now in the water, as Osborne is showing you, sea lions are fast and agile. He's using those long front flippers, front flippers to pull himself through the water, and he uses the rear ones to steer. True seals, when they move through the water, use their back ones for propulsion and use their front flippers to steer. Osborne's showing you his front, fl front flipper right there. Now, one other thing that's great about sea lions in the water is they are very agile. They have extremely flexible necks, which help them to catch the fast-moving prey that makes up their diet. All of these features make sea lions superb predators in the water, but they don't always play the role of the hunter. Sometimes it's these guys who are the prey, and they're always on the look.